Well, I mean, it was great fun, you know, because you're, you're spending a long time talking to a lot of people who are interested in ex sort of the same sort of things as you are in nice locations <laughs> around the world. Um, it's a lot of work because you have to do a lot of writing and you have to be very careful because everything is reviewed and re-reviewed and re-reviewed again and again and again. Um, so it's quite nice to be part of that sort of community um, and I enjoyed it very much. Um, I was asked to do it the next time round and I, I, I refused because um, I thought it should be a turnover of people because if you have climate change deniers who say that it's all a sort of club with people who do this, um, then you can, if you, if you have a turnover of people, it's less likely to have that cast against you. So I was a contributing author the next time around, but I wasn't a lead author. I've contributed to the other subsequent reports. Um, and I think those IPCC reports are absolutely fantastic in the amount of detail and the care and the work. Uh, and, you know, if you, any information you want about climate change is in there. But they are getting so huge and so enormous now that n nobody can be expected to read more than a small fraction of any of it. And you sort of begin to wonder, perhaps they've outlived their usefulness as, as great big volumes. And it might be better to focus on particularly important angles that need working on rather than just try and review everything in great detail every time. But people will disagree with me on that. <laughs>